Hello, everybody. Um, can you hear me? I just want you to confirm if you can hear me, please. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to start in a few minutes. Give me just one minute um, while I set up some things here on my computer, okay? Um, I'll be back. Okay, good. Uh, okay, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Wilmer Granados. Uh, I'll be your teacher in church um, of this model. Um, guys, um, well, first of all, I, I will introduce myself. Uh, as I said before, and I repeat it again, my name is Wilmer Granados. I'm a bachelor degree in English. I'm currently studying a master's degree in linguistics. Uh, well, I been I've been working here in, for English Cooperative for around two years. Um, uh, also, I've been working in a high experience teaching um, of students in a university. Uh, to be specific, in uh, Gerardo Barrios University um, here in Sulutan. So, guys, uh, also I have a. Um, uh, uh, some diplomas eh, that I've been taking for eh, these past years um, about virtual teaching and some other stuff, okay? Um, guys, what we're going to do eh, after my introduction, so um, I want you to hear about you. I want you to tell me what's your name, where you're located, uh, how is going on with this or, or, or you are yeah. so we uh, have news here about the um, hurricane that already passed and here in El Salvador I want to know who you are uh, things that you can share with me about you okay um, so uh, I don't know if is there is any volunteer who wants to start talking Good evening, my name is Rodrigo Herrera. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, you, you don't know what? I don't know if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear okay. you very well, sir. Go okay. ahead. Uh, my name is Rodrigo Herrera. Uh, I am 27 years old. Uh, I am a industrial engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, I work uh, with of the loom for is of the loom is a company factor manufacturing company uh, we made we made t-shirts and i'm process engineer mm -hmm. uh, i have six years of experience and i live in san salvador and when i have free time i like to know new place and know new people Okay, very good. Okay, thank you for sharing that information with us, Rodrigo. Welcome here to Inglés Corporativo. Um, any other volunteer? Because uh, everybody is going to participate, okay? If you don't want to participate, I will name you and uh, you have to share something with us. At least, <laughs> hi, okay? Uh, Mario? Okay, you hear me, teacher? 
Yes, I can hear you very well, sir. Good evening, my name is Mario Viera. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm driving right now, but let me introduce. Well, oh, careful. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm 42 years old. Uh, I'm a lawyer and a grill chef and barista too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Or coffee seller. I have my own, own company uh, about co coffee. I sell coffee, uh, bourbon, pacamara, geisha, another, another, uh, another two, two way to make money for me. And that's what I do. Okay, okay. Okay, very good. So it's nice to hear about that, sir, Mr. Vieira. Okay, welcome, as I uh, said before, to you, Mr. Rodrigo. Welcome here to English Corporativo. Um, any other volunteer wants to share something with us? Uh, Alicia? Okay, go ahead. Very good evening. My Hi, name good is, evening. My name is Alicia Hernandez. Uh, I am 37 years old. I live in Morazan City. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a preschool teacher. My favorite food are pupusa and hamburgers. And right now, I study at English Corporativo. Okay, very good, excellent. You said that you're a preschool teacher, okay? That's right? Yes. Okay, good, good. So that's mean you're a teacher too. Okay, um, anyone else who wants to share something with us? Anyone else? Okay, Victoria, welcome. And then, uh, okay, first Victoria and then uh, it's going to be Celia. Okay, okay. so Victoria, go ahead. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. My name is Victoria Rodriguez, but you can call me Vicky because it's a little bit uh, nice for me. Yes, it's good for me. So um, I'm 17 years old and I live with my parents in my house in Alta Vista. And I'm very, I'm very good person because I like to be a very a loyalty person with someone else. So it's my it's my pleasure to stay here today. And I I I hope to learn new things in that in that team. Okay, and we are going to do that, ma'am. So um, there are some topics that you're going to be developing during this course. That I, I, I hope it's going to be helpful for you. Um, in order to learn um, a little bit about this, uh, about these uh, uh, well, things that uh, English Corporativo has set up for you during this uh, month, okay? So I hope that you can take an advantage of those topics too. Um, let me see, Cecilia, you, you what are you? Uh, I can see you. Cecilia? Yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> okay go ahead. Uh, hello, good evening, everyone. Hi, good evening. I'm Ceci. I study at the University of El Salvador. Uh, I live in Sonsonate. Um, I'm 23 years old. I like watch movies, television, read. Um, I like uh, resolve useless and other things. Thanks. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Okay, uh, welcome. Um, anyone else? Okay, anyone else? Come on guys. Um, um, during this class, we learned that you're going to be participating a lot. So that's mean that we have to put in practice our English skills. So don't be shy. And uh, so I don't know if anyone else wants to share something with us.
Okay, if not, um, what I'm going to do right now is to name you. Uh, let's see, Blanca, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Blanca, um, well, you, you can introduce yourself whenever you want. Okay, as I already know, know, my name is Blanca. I live in Sonsonate. I am from El Salvador and um, I hope to learn different things such as grammar, vocabulary, and I am very happy uh, to say with, with us. Okay, okay, very good. Blanca, believe me that, well, all topics here in English Cooperativo um, are intended to learn a, or develop the four macro skills, listening, speaking, writing, and reading, okay? But also a, on all the topics that you're gonna be uh, taking here with English Cooperativo, all of them include the grammar part. So uh, there you're going to find some slides that are um, helpful in, our, in the constructions of sentences also. You're going to learn a lot of vocabulary here because, uh, well, uh, later on I will be explaining how we are going to be uh, working during this model. There are some things that I have to share to you, um, but let's finish introducing yourself and, and then I, I will explain all, all those stuff, okay? Um, Maximo, you there? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, sir. My name is Maximo Orteaga. I am an electronics engineer. I work at Servicio de Alimentos. Okay. I am a project manager and maintenance manager. Mm -hmm. I live in Zaragoza, La Libertad. I am 58 years old. Okay, okay. Welcome, That's sir. All. Okay, welcome, sir, to English Corporativo. Thank you for sharing that information with us. Uh, Oscar, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening, sir. Well, uh, it's your good turn. Evening. You can introduce Glad yourself to... whenever you want. Glad to meet you, teacher. <laughs> it's a pleasure, sir. I'm a chef. Uh, pardon. Sorry, my name is Oscar Melendez and I live in Saltepeque. Uh, and I am a chef. I like to cook. My hobbies are cooking, singing, uh, studying. Uh, I try to understand the English. <laughs> um, I, like, I like it a lot. Uh, I am 38 eight years old. Yeah. Yeah. Not. <laughs> okay, that's all. Okay, welcome, um, Oscar. So um, I hope you can learn a lot of things here with English Corporativo. Uh, guys, um, I have to tell you something. For tomorrow's class, I want you to open your cameras because I, I like to know you. Um, and also I, I like to see uh, when, I'm, when I'm speaking with someone uh, because in that way, well, it's going to be more interactive way in order to share information. Um, so for tomorrow, if you can, please, probably uh, today not, because some of you haven't set up uh, your uh, desk or something like that. But for tomorrow, I want you, uh, please, open your cameras. Okay. So, um, guys, uh, I don't know if someone else wants to share something with us. One, for instance, uh, I'm seeing uh, one here in my list. Uh, Hi. Hi, good evening, sir. This is Juan. Uh, okay. I live in Santa Ana. And, um, I, uh, I am a import manager. Mm -hmm. And I like to swim, and I hope in this model we uh, we learn more about English. 
to get more practice to speak Eagle fluency. This is, I hope this because the last module only see the uh, <laughs> uh, the teacher typing and we don't have a lot of practice but okay oh, okay oh, okay I see, sir here. don't worry okay don't worry because um during this model i, I like to uh, do the class interactive so um I, I like that you can share something uh to other classmates and i like you to uh read i like you to um and speak so mm -hmm. we are going to be developing a lot of activity here during the video conference okay uh, yeah, during video okay. conference we're we're going to see some topics there and i will be explaining some some things about the 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 topics that are uh, on on the platform now of english cooperativo but um we are not going to well we are going to see that but we are going to try to um uh, put in practice all the things that we want to be learning there uh, here in the in the video conference okay don't worry about that because i like to um do the class interactive so then that way you're going to be sharing information also you're going to be uh, working as i said before in the four macro skills speaking listening writing reading okay and also we're going to include some grammar but but now we'll be explaining some things about that you're going to be working on some exercises and i will be sharing some extra links you know what you're going to be practicing your english too um but it's going to be more talking okay so that's what i said at the beginning that um you need to speak because during this uh model we're going to practice a lot of our english okay Okay. Uh, and I hope you can uh, help everybody there uh, in the conversations what we're going to have, you know, uh, well, in, in the round tables that we're going to create here and also in the breakout rooms that you're going to be, um, you, you're going to be working on. Okay. 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 Okay, sir. Um, I don't know if there is anyone else here who wants to share something with us. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Jose. Good evening. Okay. My name is Jose Luis Gomez. I am 41 years old. I work in the customs of El Salvador. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a auditor. I live in San Salvador and I'm ready to learn in this class. Okay, okay. Very good, sir. Thank you for sharing that information with us. Anyone else? Um, Sonia, okay, go ahead. Good evening. Hi, good evening. I'm, I'm Sonia. I live in Cincinnati. Uh, I am 31 years, years old, and I like listening to music and watch the movie only. Okay, yeah. only that. Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, thank you for sharing that information with us. Welcome. Uh, anyone else who wants to share something? I think um, some of you are missing, but I can't. I can identify who. Uh, Ronald, you already participate. Good Hello. evening, teacher. Hi, Nancy. Good evening. My name is Nancy Maldonado. I live in Texas, Texas with my husband and daughter. Mm -hmm. I work in Kimberly Clark and I am controller production in this company and I make report for management. And I like watch TV. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you for sharing that information with us. Uh, let's see who else. Who else is missing? Uh, Rosemary, do you already participate? I think no. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Um, my name is Rosemary Elizaba. I am from Armenia City. I work in Sonsonate, La Casa de Repuesto. 
I 23 years old. Okay, okay, thank you for sharing that information with us. I don't know, is there someone else missing because I can identify. So before I can I can see who has already participate or not. There are a lot of people here. 27, I see. Hey, Alicia? Uh, good evening, my Hi. name is Alicia. I live in La Libertad. I'm 25 years old. I'm an accountant. I love watch movies and read books. And nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you too, Alicia. Okay, anyone else? Nobody else? Okay, I, I think that everybody has already introduced yourself, but I, I'm not sure about it. But uh, when I when I keep it like that, okay, don't worry. Um, we, we're going to move to uh, the next part. First of all, guys, I had to share a, a video with you. This is about Insta4. Uh, well, I, I think that everybody is here in order to, uh, because you want to improve your English first. And also, you want to improve your CV, and uh, well, you're here, and as I said, one of your classmates to practice, okay? And we're going to create that environment now that you can practice um, it here during the video conferences and also in the activities that you're going to be developing during this model. Uh, but as I said before, I have to share a, a video that is uh, mandatory in old uh, uh, in the first video conference with English Cooperative, give, give me just one moment while I look for it. Give me just one moment also while I share my screen. Let me see here. Okay, I think this is the one. Yes, okay. So um, I'm going to share this video. As I said before, this is a video uh, about, and I will switch to Spanish Centros de Formación. Uh, de Insafort, eh, ahí van a encontrar ustedes eh, mucha información referente a algunos de los cursos que Insafort eh, está trabajando. Eh, lo vamos a ver, creo que dura alrededor de cuatro minutos y como les decía, es mandatorio al inicio de cada este, eh, módulo de información. Denme un segundo. Vamos a compartir el audio. Si no se escucha, por favor, me lo hacen saber. El Insaforp ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. 
trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional INSAFOR, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los Centros de Formación Fijos, donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente Cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra las mujeres. Posteriormente, el Instafor desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos. Y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista, y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. Ok. Um, there you have the video. These are all programs that Insafor has been working on. Uh, so, well, you are here uh, taking English class because um, you apply for a scholarship that uh, English, uh, well, in this case, Insafor through English Cooperativo uh, offered to everybody uh, wants to learn. Uh, so, uh, as you know, here in Inglés para el trabajo. Okay, guys. Um, eh, so, right now, what we are going to do is, to, well, I will share my, my screen first. Give me just one moment. One moment, please. Okay. I was telling you that and right now what we are going to do, well, what I will do is to uh, explain a little bit what we are going to be working on uh, during this model. Uh, probably some of you already know that uh, in the platform of Singlet Cooperativo, you have uh, some different sections that you have to be working on. Well, let me tell you guys that uh, everybody has received uh, an email with all the um, passcodes and the uh, inscriptions to this model to English intermedio model two um, and there you're going to find um, well when, while you log in in the platform as English corporative what you are going to find give me just one moment a model like this uh, okay like this it says English corporative model model two um you click on it and then you're going to find uh, the four sections that we have that we are going to be working on during uh, this month um each section has in a specific name of the unit in this case section one uh, the name of the unit it says 
Okay, no problem. We have three different exercises. The, the same happened with section number two. What this for? Uh, in the section number three, we're going to find a meter. And also we are going to find the unit that is let's celebrate for exercises for this one. Um, in the section number four, we are going to, to find a back to the future. And also in the section number five, that is the last one you're going to find. I don't like working on weekends. Also, we have three different exercises. Uh, moreover, uh, in the section number five, you're going to um, find uh, the final exam, okay? And uh, well, all these sections, as I said before, it, it has a uh, three different exercises. All these sections are the ones that we're gonna be working on in order to uh, achieve uh, the high score uh, for um, the to get, I mean, the diploma. Uh, guys, in this part, you're going to have a button that it says progress or, or progreso here in Spanish. Um, and there you are going to find this chart, okay? And each of these part correspond to the uh, we, um, I mean, section that we're gonna be working on, all the homeworks that you're gonna be working on in each uh, section. Uh, this is the number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Okay, just let me explain you a little bit about what uh, these homeworks mean. Um, in each section, you're going to be working in different exercises. Each exercise has a specific uh, a score. Um, for each exercise, that, each exercise that you are going to be working on, um, you're going to have a multiple opportunities in order to complete it. That that's mean that um, if you cannot complete any um, any of these activities, you have the opportunity to try the first time, second time, third time, so and many times as, until you uh, achieve the high score that's gonna be 100%. And all these homewards from number one to the number five, are gonna be, you, we are going to take an average of it and this is going to be the first score, the, the, the first grade that you're going to take. That's going to be um, from zero to 100%, okay? This is the first, the first score. The, the, the sum of all these uh, exercises is going to be just one score. Then you're going to have the midterm that is uh, in the section number three. As I said before, this is going to be a, a different score and also the final test. Uh, all three uh, scores is going to be um, here in the in total, uh, that this is the one that we have to take care uh, because in order to get the diploma, you're going to need to work at least the 80% of the exercises. And uh, it's not just working on the exercises, you need to um, have all the answers correct in, in order to get the 80% uh, of the exercises. That's gonna be the minimum uh, in order to pass this model, okay? After you have uh, the 80%, you can request the diploma. Uh, my suggestion, is that you can score the 100%, okay? As I said before, you had multiple opportunities in order to be working on all those exercises. So that means you can try to solve a many, uh, well, a times after you can. So it's up to you in order to, to develop all these activity. So um, for each section here, you're going to have also the punctuation. That, uh, what I mean is the score uh, of all the um, activities that, that you're going to be working. Uh, for instance, here you're going to say that uh, the first exercise, it has just uh, 33 uh, points and the second one 33 and the last one 34. That means that you're going to achieve the 100% just solving these three um, exercises. This is the section number one that's gonna be reflected here in the homework 01. 
uh, the same happened to section two and well, there you have different um, different sections in order to be working on. Um, later on, so uh, in this part, in, in this, uh, well, in the bottom that it says Curso, um, if you click in section number one, the uh, topic, the main topic, uh, you're going to find different lesson objectives. Uh, the first one, in this case, the first lesson objective, it says in this lesson, participants will listen and practice a conversation between family members. This is going to be the aim of this uh, uh, topic. And topic is going to be developed. Um, in this case, we're going to listen to a conversation because it's going to be developed in a video. Um, you have to click on it and also you have to watch this uh, video. And so in order to get the information here, um, you have to solve also a, an activity that is proposed for this. This, is, this activity doesn't have a specific score, but um, if you want to share something um, that, that you consider so important here, you can uh, go to the discussion port and start a, a forum, okay? So everybody's going to see that forum and can consult the information that you have a uh, post. Uh, for this video. Um, later, so you're going to find the second mm -hmm. lesson objective. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, uh, we're going to find, if you see here, we're going to find a, a video that is related to a drama part. Here, uh, this conversation is going to be de developing a purpose of acquiring vocabulary. In the second video, it's going to be uh, related to um, learning a little bit about grammar. In this case, two par words will uh, correspond to requests. In this case, um, you can see like uh, the, the, the topic that's gonna be developing uh, the t-shirt here um, for uh, this, this team, okay, uh, for this topic. So, and then you're going to find the last one, this icon, it show you that we have to work on um, some exercises. If you click on it, there you're going to find the knowledge check. This, this knowledge check, uh, well, if you see, there are three of them. This is the 1.4, this is the first one. The 1.9, this is the second one. And the 1.11, this is the third one. Um, there, you're going to find some instructions. In this case, look at this. Um, it says instruction. You are going to find also the instruction in Spanish uh, in order to generate a better understanding. Um, here we have the instructions for this when it says, look at the following pictures, then complete request with this word. More than one answer is possible. Um, so there you have the, the image and there you have the spaces that you have to work uh, related to, to the image you wanna be checking after you watch all the videos here, okay? Um, till here, I think that some of you already know how this work. And um, I don't know if someone else uh, has a, any question related to this, the ones that are, are new here in English Corporativo, I don't know if you have any question. Something that you want to know about this, something that uh, you want to share probably about the uh, topics that are here in the platform. Not at the moment. Okay, guys. Um, and and I have to also tell you something because it's so so important. Um. If this is this has to be with a uh, topics that we are going to be working on the uh, platform of English Corporativo because there are the exercises that are going to be scored. Okay, uh, all those exercises are the ones that we are going to use in order to generate your diploma. And as I said before, you need the eighty uh, percent, or at least the eighty percent, because I hope you can achieve the one hundred percent, but but at least the eighty percent. Okay because that's the minimum. Um, and, and I'm hard to clarify this because there, we're going to be uh, working on the activities that are uh, scored 
but also we are going to have some other activities. Um, we are going to have some activities that is intended to, in order to practice our English. And those activities we're going to be working here in the video conference. Okay, so you are going to have storytelling, you're going to have a conversation, um, you're going to have a round table, things like that, okay, here in the video conference. And also we're going to be learning some uh, grammar parts that we're going to find here in the platform. And I will be explaining all those things. Also, we are going to be working on some other exercises and some other links that I will be sharing to you. These exercises are not scored. Okay, that's no part. Uh, those no, are not part um, from the, the, the grades that you're going to get in order to achieve this model. You have to focus, first of all, here in the exercises of the platform, okay? That's going to be the aim for you, uh, work on those exercises. The, or, the, the other links, the other activities, uh, the other exercises that I will be sharing here in, in the video conference is just supported materials. And I hope that you can, um, you can work on it because first of all, you're gonna be uh, practicing your English. You're gonna be practicing uh, listening, you're going to be practicing writing, reading too, okay, and speaking, um, because we're going to do uh, activities uh, that are, are going to be intended in order to work those areas, okay, but uh, here in, in a platform, you can uh, take the courses, take the, or oh, watch the video in this case, and take the, the exercises um, as the way you want, and, and, and I'm telling you this because this is going to depend on you. Uh, we are not going to have a, a, a synchronic, uh, um, synchronic like uh, the video conference with uh, the topics that are in the in the um, in the platform. Uh, so why? Because you have the opportunity to work on uh, the section you want. So if you want to finish all the exercises of the platform in just one week, guys, you can do it. And, and there is no restriction for that. Uh, you can work it till the final test if, you, test if you want. But here in the video conference, we are going to have a, a, a schedule uh, with some topics that we're going to be working on, but just in the video conference. Um, so that's mean that if you finish uh, the section one, two, three, and four, and, and five, because we have five sections there. So you can do it and later, you can be just atten uh, attending to the video conference in order to review the information. And, and that's good because also you're going to be practicing your English and also you're going to be practicing all the things you learn in the platform, but it's up to you how you want to um, advance here uh, in the in the platform, okay? So and as I said before, even if you want to finish all the exercises, I think it's not possible, but if you want to finish or you want to spend all the day to, uh, solving the exercises uh, of the platform, you can do it, okay? And there is not a restriction. You can go over till um, the final test if you want, and there is no restriction for it. But in the video conference, we're gonna be working in in the okay. I think the week number one, we're gonna be working in section one and two. Week uh, number two, section three and meter. Uh, in week number four, section four, finals to the final test, the last day of uh, the video conference. We're going to have 16 video conference. Um, well, it's supposed that we were going to start yesterday, Monday, but uh, so you, you, you see that for climatic things that uh, for the weather, we couldn't start uh, yesterday. But we have moved on the, the, the class that's supposed that we're, we were going to have yesterday for this coming Friday. Uh, it's going to be Friday 14. So we're going to have classes on Friday, even that, even, even though that it's supposed that the schedule for this uh, model is from Monday to 
Thursday. Okay. So uh, per each week, we are going to have four different sections. I mean, video conferences, not sections, video conferences. Okay, so I don't know if you have any question. Is it clear all the information related to what we, um, we, are, what we are going to be working on during this model? Is it yes, clear teacher. or do you want? Okay. It's clear. Clear. It's clear. Okay. Just uh, you have some options there in Zoom uh, that you can use, and I like you. You can use it because now way it uh, is like the feedback that I receive. Uh, if you are paying attention, to what I'm saying, you can use um, the the reactions. I don't know if you have the buttons there. Thumbs up in order to agree with something or thumbs down. Yeah, if you don't like something, okay? Then you have the option, I guess. It, it, the button is a yeah, reaction. Also, something I want you to um, to, to manage is the annotate. Um, with the annotate, we're going to have the possibility to be, um, to be manipulating uh, my screen. So if I uh, request, for instance, an example, you can use the annotate. The annotate is a button that we have in Zoom um, where you can just write them here. I don't know if you are seeing my screen. Uh, this uh, menu uh, here with all the buttons that we have for the annotate. So uh, for instance, we have a part in order to write something, in order to give, give examples, you can change color, things like that. Try to manage all those things because we are going to need it during this model. Okay. Uh, we're going to take all the advantage of these tools, in this case of uh, Zoom tools, okay? I'm going to clear all drawings here. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, um, first of all, uh, we're going to start with the first topic. We're going to move on to the section number one. Um, I think that everything is clear now. Um, you, you didn't um, ask anything, so we're going to move on to the section number one. We're going to start, hey, just let me just check the time. We have 10 minutes, okay? Um, let's see. Section number one, top it is, okay, no problem. We're going to listen a conversation uh, today. Okay, give me just one moment. I had to move on lection, the lesson number one, the lesson objective. Um, as I said before, you are going to find the information in English and also in, in Spanish. Yeah, but uh, must, okay, I will try that all the information you receive is just in English because uh, this is the what <laughs> this is the aim of this uh, class is to practice our English. So, but if you don't understand something, if you are uh, not getting uh, something here, please let me know because because I, I can switch to Spanish whenever you want. If you say like, okay, I'm not understanding you, or uh, can you please uh, switch to Spanish, uh, explain this thing to Spanish because now what I will get the whole information, guys, don't be shy and, and let me know that because we have, we all hear uh, the, the purpose is to, to practice, first of all, to practice English and also to learn a lot of things uh, related to grammar and topics that we're going to be working on, okay? Take a look at this lesson objective. It says in this lesson, participants will listen. Okay, we're going to listen and practice a conversation between family members. There in the video, we are going to find an activity that we are going to be working on uh, today. If it is not possible to complete it for today, we are going to have a homework, but let's try. Okay, uh, just let me play this uh, video. I'm going to share this and this, okay. Um, if you cannot hear the audio, please let me know, okay? Uh, I think that everything has been set up.
Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Up and so. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, <laughs> like the aim of the objective is here to practice this conversation. What we are going to do, uh, first of all, I will need some volunteers in order to uh, replete this um, conversation. Uh, I want someone for Mr. Phil, someone for Jason, um, someone for Miss Field, and someone for Lisa. Okay, volunteers. Floor. So, uh, just raise your hand if you want to participate in this conversation. If not, I will choose some of you. Okay, volunteers, just raise your hand. You have the button there. Okay, Maximo. Maximo is one of the participants. Who else? Who else? We are guests. Okay, mm, I have Juan, uh, Maximo, Sonia, and Carla. Okay, guys. Uh, Juan, you're going to be. Thanks. You're going to be Mr. Phil. Uh, Maximo, you're going to be Jason. Okay. Uh, Carla, you're going to be Miss Field. And uh, well, Sonia, you're going to be Lisa. Okay? Okay. Okay. Ready. Ready. Okay. Jason. Okay. Jason. Mr. Phil Juan. Okay. Jason. Jason, turn now the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it is very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They are over the floor. I am minion, mom. I own the phone. All right, but I but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, where we like this, we like this when we were kids. Okay. And finally, finally. Juan, Juan, Juan. Okay, okay, very good. So, um, it's supposed that Carla was going to say the the part of Miss Feel, sir, but it's okay. Don't worry. Um, we're going to have an activity for uh, today, and I'm going to do it. Uh, with you as soon as possible, okay? Because uh, we don't have enough time in order to work on it. We have just guessed four minutes. Guys, um, the activity is going to be the following. You're going to create a conversation, not like this. It has to be something different and topics are gonna be depend on you, depend on you, because you decide what thing you want to, 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 to create. Um, or include uh, in the conversation it will be uh, something related to your job. For instance, if you want to uh, create a conversation about any trip, uh, uh, about any experience you have in a, in a different country, uh, well, something that you want to create for a conversation that's going to uh, take, uh, that's gonna be for tomorrow. Um, this activity is going to be in pairs. Uh, I'm going to create breakout rooms right now. Um, in order you can, uh, okay, talk with your partner because it's going to be, um, I'm going to use a, a tool here in, in Zoom. This is going to be automatically in, uh, I don't know who is going to work with who. 
So for that reason, you have to ask for a, a, the telephone number to, uh, if they had WhatsApp. Well, I think everybody has WhatsApp because we have a group uh, of WhatsApp there. And I haven't shared my number yet, but I will do it uh, tonight after this video conference and I will send a message there. There, sorry. Uh, but what I want you to do is to uh, get in pair. Once you um, join to the breakout room, there you're going to have the person that is going to be working with you and uh, ask for the telephone number. Once you have the telephone number, you can uh, decide who is going to be who and um, the conversation is going to be uh, we are going to be practicing uh, tomorrow. And as I said before, this conversation must be different from the one that we have uh, on the screen. So that's mean that you are going to create that conversation. Conversation uh, will be like, what? Two minutes, no more than that. Three minutes as maximum. I, I think that we can invent, we can invent in the moment. So uh, I think that the thing is better uh, when we practice and we think uh, suddenly and we can talk uh, many things about our life, our work, our try to yeah, uh, yeah, we we can try that, sir. But uh, it's better if we plan things. So it's no, I'm not telling you like go ahead and, and and okay, create a conversation first and then share it here. No, but the thing is, you can uh, uh, like <clears throat> define what you are going to be uh, talking about tomorrow. Okay, that, that's okay. the only thing that I want. I'm not telling you create a conversation and you're going to send me that conversation in order to review. No, no, I'm not, do, I'm not doing that. Because uh, as you said, the, the, the thing here, the aim of this uh, course is to practice our English, but uh, the things goes better if we plan it. So that's the reason why I'm creating this breakout rooms. Uh, in that way, you're going to see um, who is going to be working with you, and then you can decide what you want, that, what you're going to be sharing uh, to us. Okay, so I'm going to create the breakout rooms right now. Give me just one moment. We are right now 23, 24, I guess. Okay, that means it's going to be. 11 groups okay i'm going to create the very cut rooms and uh there you get to find your partner if it is a group of three uh, people um uh, so you can work the three of them so three of three of you in the same conversation okay so i'm going to create it right now and also i'm going to send the invitation please click on it and you're going to move to the breakout room there you are going to share your information with others, okay? There you have. Hello, coach. Hi. Eh, Hello, teacher. Ah, ah, sí. este, entonces, la conversación tiene que ser sobre cualquier tema. Sí, cualquier tema. No hay ningún problema. Ok. Entonces, ¿qué dijo? ¿Que la programamos hoy o hasta mañana? De... No, la vamos a desarrollar el día de mañana. 
Pero la vamos a organizar este, en el transcurso de la mañana o va a ser de imprevisto. No, ¿no? ustedes deciden cómo organizarse. Este, solo eh, soliciten el número de teléfono de cada uno de ustedes. Se pueden comunicar por WhatsApp y decidan sobre qué va a ser su conversación. Si va a ser sobre viajes, si va a ser sobre este, alguna experiencia que hayan tenido ustedes en algún momento, este, sobre el trabajo. Hay muchos temas que podemos escoger. Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. Okay, it's been a pleasure. Tipo. <laughs> Hello, Brian. Are you there? Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Y ahorita vamos a practicar la conversación del video. Este, vamos a pensar que, de qué queremos hablar, nada, que de qué va a ser nuestra conversación, sobre qué tema. ¿Alguna idea que tenga? Este. Yo creo que el tiempo, um, creo que el tiempo no va a dar. Si, si gusta, con, eh, intercambiamos número de teléfono y nos comunicamos en el transcurso del día de mañana, ¿le parece? Eso es. ¿Cuál, cuál es su Está diciendo el teacher. ¿no? Exacto. Ajá. Es que es, es el uso de la, de la unión de dos verbos que, que unidos hello. cambian el. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Cambian Hi. el sentido. Hi. Um, teacher, it's necessary to, to use the, exactly the, the, the verb that you are no, 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 guys. Uh, okay, don't worry about the topics that we are going to okay. be working tomorrow on, on the on the platform. Don't worry about that. Uh, the aim of this, this activity idea. is just to create a conversation where everybody is going to participate and say something. Uh, Using different words. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Margarita, are okay. you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the name of the topic. <laughs> We are thinking about the name of the topic, teacher. <laughs> okay, but it will be about travels if if you want. So, mm -hmm. or about jobs. So mm -hmm. you decide. So you, you don't you don't have to include uh, the the topic that we're going to be working tomorrow. It's now necessary. What I want you to do is just to create a conversation. Uh, you decide okay. what you want to share in that conversation. What you want to add in that conversation. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's up to you. Um, what I want you to do right now is to share your contact information because in that way you can uh, uh, like uh, send a message and, and define what you're going to be uh, discussing tomorrow in that conversation. Okay, it's not necessary that you can create a conversation uh, or, or it's not necessary that you can uh, structure your conversation. So it's up to you. Okay. 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 You have any question, uh, Margarita? No, teacher. No. Okay, Maximo? No, teacher. It's clear. Okay, okay, okay perfect. I'm going to move on to a different breaker room. 
Um, guys, I will see you tomorrow, okay? okay uh, after you share the, the contact information, you can leave. Okay. Okay. They're all no. over the floor. No. no. Okay, guys. And I mean it. Okay. Go ahead. Wait a minute. Mom, I am on the phone. All right. But do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, where we like is when we were kids. They, they finally. Okay. Teacher. Okay, uh, guys. Uh, well, uh, what it's supposed you were going to do um, in this breakout room is just to share the contact information. And uh, later on, you can decide what you're going to be talking about, or what is going to what what's going to be your conversation for tomorrow. Because uh, the three of you, Oscar, Jose, and Sonia, you're going to be working together for the conversation that uh, is going to be uh, developed tomorrow. Okay, so just share your contact information, and, and later on you can uh, work on it. Okay. So I don't know if there is any question or you want me to explain the information in Spanish. I have a question. Okay, Sonia, go ahead. Yo acabo de entender, bueno, entendí que tenemos que crear una nueva conversación. Sí, es. Para mañana. Sí, para mañana. O entendí mal. Ok, entonces sería nosotros tres hacer una nueva conversación Quizá como tomando de ejemplo la que tenemos en pantalla. Puede ser este un ejemplo como este. No necesariamente tiene que ser esta conversación. Porque aquí hay cuatro personas participantes. Ustedes pueden adaptar una conversación de tres personas. Okay. Eh, la idea de los breakout rooms, como les dije, era solamente compartir este, la información de contacto para que ustedes se pongan de acuerdo sobre qué va a ser su conversación. Puede ser acerca de viajes, puede ser acerca de trabajo, puede ser este, acerca de... Eh, cualquier experiencia que ustedes han vivido, este, de, de fiestas, das, no, no, no tiene este, ninguna importancia pues, el tema que ustedes decidan. Eh, el propósito es que nosotros practiquemos nuestro inglés este, y, y eh, nos pongamos de acuerdo en esta conversación. Por eso, por eso les decía yo que se compartieran este, los números de contacto para trabajar este, como equipo. Ok. ¿Preguntas? Okay. José, Oscar. No question. Muy bien, me voy a mover. O sea, entonces. teacher, o sea sí. que eh, vamos a, a, a uh -huh. practicar solo entre nosotros o vamos a... a Mañana el... ustedes oh. vienen, de, ustedes tienen que venir listos para participar en este, la, eh, en el lobby oh. eh, con todos este, sus compañeros. Ustedes van a desarrollar una conversación, los tres. Ok, ok. Uh. Ok. Muy bien. ¿Más preguntas? Eh, what is the correct pronunciation de 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 fin de fit <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I can I can share that. Give me just one moment. And I will you and I listen from in um is that uh, Lily? Definitely no, I don't know. No, just listen. Um, you can. Uh, I'm going to um, show you this. It's going to be so much better. Okay. Do you listen that? No. No. Definitely. 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 It. Okay. okay. Just listen one more time. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Okay, Definitely. Okay. Thank you, Got it? Thank you. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to move to a different group. Okay. Um, after you share the, the contact information, you can leave. Okay, guys? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.
Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Uh, guys, uh, I'm here. And if you if you have any question. No, no questions. Uh, okay. Ahorita no, teacher, ninguna. Okay, see you tomorrow then. After you short your uh, contact information, you can leave. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. Siete nueve tres dos cinco cinco noventa. Siete nueve tres dos cinco cinco noventa es el mío. Oscar. Okay, um, guys, sorry, no. sorry for interrupt you. Um, okay, I'm going to move. I, I think I've been with you before. See, you, see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Hello, Blanca, eh, Miguel, Erika, are you there? Yes. Ya compartieron este, su información de contacto con sus compañeros de trabajo. No. No. ¿Con quién estaba trabajando usted? Miguel. Ok, Miguel. Bye. Este, solamente para recordarles, ¿verdad? Para el día de mañana nosotros vamos a desarrollar una conversación. Este, la idea de los breakout rooms era que ustedes se pusieran de acuerdo con su compañero, se compartieran este número de contacto, en este caso podría ser WhatsApp, que es el, el más este, eh, factible para todos, porque creo que la mayoría tiene WhatsApp y se ha, se ha unido al grupo de, que tenemos de, de inglés corporativo. Este, eh, con el propósito de que nos pongamos de acuerdo eh, sobre la conversación, nosotros podíamos decidir, decíamos a, eh, hablar acerca de viajes, hablar acerca de este, nuestro trabajo, bueno, en fin, un, un sinfín de temas que nosotros podemos incluir este, en nuestra conversación, ¿sí? Así que, este, eh, ustedes, bueno, usted, Blanca, estaba trabajando con Miguel, pues compártanse las inform la información de contacto este, y eh, ya se pueden poner en, de acuerdo en, en WhatsApp. ¿De acuerdo? Sí, Erika. Ah, oh, Erika. Justo a Dígame. entrar a los, a los grupos, me sacó de la reunión, no sé por qué. Pero ya se había puesto, Entonces, con, ya se había puesto de acuerdo con, sus, con, con su compañero. No, 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 no. no. Justamente ah. me sacó igual la de una compañera también, pero me puedo poner de acuerdo con ella para hacerlo entre los dos. Ah, de acuerdo, excelente. Puede hacer eso. Pero Por supuesto sería que sí. de dos, ¿verdad? Una conversación de dos. Sí, se puede de dos o tres, si sí, en el caso estaban tres. Ok, de cualquier tipo de tema, ¿no? Sí, ustedes deciden qué tema. ¿Más o menos el tiempo? ¿De cuánto? Dos, tres minutos. Ok, bien. Muy bien. Miguel, can you give me your phone number, please?
número es el 7099. No, es 7389914. Hola, perdón. Estás en el grupo. Sí, una pregunta, ¿cuánto tiempo será impartida la clase a diario? Se, son 60 minutos. Una de vez. 9. Hola. De 8 a 9, pero si sí ya nos pasamos. Ya de no, 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 Miguel. Una vez compartan la información este, de, de su número de contacto, se pueden retirar. Les dije, no, les, no recibieron la notificación. No, no me lo importa, yo no lo he Pero gracias. Ah, ok. Este, bien, es que les envié un, un mensaje, un broadcast este, a todos. Pensé que todos lo habían recibido. No, teacher. Ah, no. Bueno, las disculpas del caso. Bien, este, una vez hayan compartido pues, información de contacto con su compañero, se pueden retirar y se, sí, eh, se ponen de acuerdo en WhatsApp. Dígame, Miguel, disculpe. Sí, por vez que quiere, por la modalidad de otros maestros, ha sido de que nos, dicen, nos indican cuando la clase ya terminó. Así verbalmente, tal vez nos, nos puede apoyar en eso. No, por supuesto que sí, este, eh, Miguel, mis disculpas, como le digo. Este, lo que pasa es que como estaban todos en grupos, les había compartido un mensaje este, general. Se supone que ese mensaje les aparece a ustedes en su pantalla, pero mi disculpa, este, Miguel, eh, no va a pasar la, otra vez, ¿ok? Gracias. Bueno.